Sally's got it into her head that we're not alone. What do you mean? That we've got a ghost, the daft cow. What was that? Bloody hell do you think you're playing at? So we are talking about the movie When the Lights Went Out, which is a 2012 movie actually based apparently on a true story, that being the Black Monk of Pontefract. So this one is uh, written and directed by Pat Holden and actually has uh, you know, a fairly good cast in it, I would say. Uh, Kate Ashfield, who plays, uh, who is in Shaun of the Dead, basically you'll recognise her. I also um, reviewed another movie of hers recently called Hangman. Uh, you've also got some other recognisable faces as well. So this one actually basically it, it takes place in the 1970s and they do an absolutely fantastic job of really selling you this time period. It really does look authentic and even the kind of the somewhat kind of grainy feel here I thought was you know very atmospheric. And basically it focuses on this kind of family that have moved into this house and almost immediately they are kind of uh, terrorized by some kind of poltergeist that, that is living within this house. It particularly goes after uh, the young daughter here. And there, it actually turns out that there's more than one spirit in this house and it is basically this kind of family struggle first to believe what's going on and then kind of obviously having to deal with it basically. So it kind of almost sounds a little bit like The Conjuring and that is fair to say. I mean, how different can really haunted house movies be when you come down to it? So it, there is definitely comparisons here to uh, The Conjuring. It rem reminded me of well, as well as the recent uh, sort of Sky a movie I saw called The Enfield Haunting, which is actually going to be The Conjuring 2 movie. So there's definitely comparisons here. I actually thought this was a, a very good uh, <laughs> movie basically it has a bit of a tv feel to i have to say it does feel like it would be one of these kind of two-part dramas that you would sort of see at christmas maybe on the tv uh, maybe the budget isn't quite there but overall this was a well-acted film uh, especially I, I have to say the, the the young girl here whose name escapes me but she did a, a pretty decent job here of really selling it and i really like the kind of the, her her relationship with her, this kind of friend uh, they're both kind of outcasts and they you know they just really sell it. they're very very good child actors i have to say uh, and and everyone does a great job of really selling in the fact that this time period and, and and the way that people kind of maybe were even though that wasn't that long ago it just it just was very very well acted and very well directed i have to say uh, if i had to have some criticisms with this film i would say the ending is very weak it kind of ends on a kind of uh, what i would consider a maybe a typical hollywood style ending and it kind of was, uh, it kind of let down the film a little bit, uh, I have to say, obviously, because when you when you watch a film, and obviously you're coming out of it, and you finish watching it, that's the last thing that you kind of see, and I thought the ending for this film was particularly weak, and it kind of maybe was a little bit too cliche, uh, but that's not to take anything away from the majority of the, uh, the, the rest of the film, which I felt was very well paced, I thought it was an intriguing story, well, well acted, well directed, maybe a little bit on the cheaper side definitely a kind of a, a tv movie vibe to it but overall a really decent ghost story i would recommend uh, checking this film out if you haven't watched it uh so i'm going to give this movie an eight out of ten it's a pretty damn good film i thoroughly enjoyed it have you seen it what did you think of it leave a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time bye for now mm -hmm.